Well, how do their chums, as you can see, I'm at my news desk at an archive base. I mean, this could just be a temporary desk at a temporary base. We will see, because I've got a little playlist going on, all about my search for the perfect archive for my news desk. I guess, yes, you want to see that playlist. Um, it's not many videos in there at the moment, only two. But anyway, um, you can hit it up. I'll put a link in that top corner over there. Heck yes, people inside of the Viewerverse, hit that one up. Anyway, why are we here? What news have I got for you guys in the Viewerverse? Well, yeah, it's kind of a comment that I've had on a recent video. You know what? Let's just let's just hit on up the comment, shall we, people? It might make a bit more sense if I do that. Heck yeah, so here we go. So this was by Orange Blood six hours ago. I'm going with Mac M1 release and Apple VR. Two ways to play on Mac and Apple products. And I've actually responded, that's tangible. And with VR, it's stereographical view. Yes, two apples, two eyes, heck yes. The old 3D glasses back in the day, one lens was red and the other was green. Well, I, I was feeling a bit creative this morning, people. So I jumped on over onto Twitter. I put the comment there. But not only that, I made a lovely image. Look at that. Isn't that freaking gorgeous? I guess it does. <laughs> I think it is. Looks like a Tic Tac advert, to be honest, with the orange and green, you know. But yeah, red and green. Anyway, let's scroll on down and let's see what sort of comments we've had. Master Cyberpunk says, Makes sense, as I think VR releases due soon. And Andrew Lake says, Hype levels destroyed. <laughs> Because <laughs> that just means that it could be two things for Mac, which is one platform. And you know, let's face it, we're all on all mixed platforms, aren't we? I am hoping that we might see some sort of expedition. You know, I don't want it to completely take the wind out of your hype sails. I am hoping that we're going to see another expedition, mainly because Hello Games have put out about four expeditions per year. And if they want to keep to that trend and that pattern, technically one has to come out in this season. It kind of seems seasonal, doesn't it? Winter, spring, summer... And you, you get the freaking idea. Anyway, Darren W. Pierce. Damn, that takes me back. Heck yes, Darren W. Pierce. Heck yes, it does. I've already just put this out there, you know, and, and it's it's inside of UK time. This is 8.53 in the mornings. Just had my morning cup of tea. You may have seen me in that sort of intersection at the start there. Finished my tea in my lovely merch mug. Getting all this all set up and looking snazzy. Yeah, anyhow, let's head on over because there's a link on macrumors.com. Yes, macrumors. Lovely job, eh? Awesome. Now, this used to be the place to go for all your Mac news and probably still is in some degree. Anyway, anyway, Tuesday, May 30th. Oh, gosh. The founder of Hello Games, the makers of popular action-adventure survival game No Man's Sky, yesterday tweeted two Apple's emojis, sparking speculation that the studio is teasing an announcement for Apple platforms at WWDC. Yes, yeah, so I've done a fair few videos on that. Scottish Rod? Yeah, Scottish Rod put me onto that. Freaking awesome. He's done a video too. Go check that one out. In fact, I'll put a video... In the top right corner, over there. Go check out Scottish Rod's video. Yeah, anyway, scrolling down, No Man's Sky. Hello Games founder Sean Murray has been known to tease upcoming announcements via cryptic emojis in the past. At WWDC last year, Apple announced that No Man's Sky would be available for the iPad and Mac by the end of 2022. Hello Games missed that deadline, and the game has yet to release for Apple devices, meaning that the two emoji teaser could indicate that the launch of No Man's Sky for the iPad and Mac is now imminent. Given widespread anticipation about Apple's expected announcement of mixed reality headsets at WWWC in the la less than a week, there is now speculation that Hello Games could be working on a game for the new device. No Man's Sky is already available on multiple VR platforms, including PC and PlayStation VR. When the game was demoed at WWDC last year, it was played on Mac with the M1 chip. Since Apple's headset is rumoured to feature at least one chip that is based on the M2 chip in addition to the dedicated images signal processor, it should be more than capable of running the game. <laughs> so yeah, it's looking likely that you know they could have a bit of merit. The two apples, stereographic, you know, double eyes or whatever. It's like even fractal, technically, you know, all that sort of shenanigans. But anyways, two two apples, green lens, red lens of the old VR glasses. It could be a hint. That could be a hint. 
Hello Games has also worked with Apple to publish games on Mac, Af Apple Arcade. Given Apple's discussions with Hello Games in recent years, No Man's Sky being amongst the initial wave of games available on Apple's mixed reality headset is not out of the question. While some rumours have suggested that Apple's headset is not particularly focused on gaming, Bloomberg's Mark German has repeatedly referred to gaming, media and communication as their three main priorities of the device. Apple has reportedly been working with a number of gaming developers to help them update their existing content for mixed reality and the company is expected to provide a robust set of developers' tools for creating experiences for the headset. Okay, so there's quite a lot to digest there, people inside the view of us. There really is. But the main crux of it all, peeps, is it could be that the two apples emoji is a sign that we might get two different platforms in a roundabout way for the Apple Mac release. So it might be that we're going to get you know, the old VR sort of aspect, but also a flat version inside of this sort of update that we might be seeing coming, I would say, early part of this month coming, June. Yeah, so there we are, people. That's all my speculation based on a comment <laughs> that I had. And also this Mac Rumors article ties in rather nicely to that. But it is all in the realms of speculation. Nothing has been confirmed. Nothing, none of this is confirmed. None of this is hardball or anything like that. When I saw the two Apple emojis, what I originally thought was it's going to have two aspects. It's going to have something for the Apple Mac users and something for the rest of um, the platforms. Maybe a new expedition, something like that. That's where my initial thoughts went, people. That's where my gut feeling still sits. However, I do like this idea because we've got a green and red Apple and that ties into the green and red lenses of the old VR goggles. Let us know what you think inside of the comments comments sound off people until next time thank you very much goodbye goodbye and goodbye again and go and make another freaking tea mate heck yes i am cheery bye <laughs>